Fury, a game where you come for the music and, well, stay because of the music. And no, it's not pronounced furry. It's fast, adrenaline filled, and this shit's hard, yo. Ay, 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 mom. And, well, hard. It was developed and published by the Game Bakers in 2016, who made such a banger of a game, I almost forgave them for their utterly unacceptable decision of being French. It has only 640 all time peak players and around 50 players a day at average, just like your mom. I find that way too low for this game. So get yourself in your comfy pants, put on your head of attention, because I have to tell you all about this sexy piece of ones and zeros. After changing the voice acting to Japanese or French, because it's objectively better this way, and you chose your difficulty level, which are baby, less baby, and post office. You wake up in a BDSM chamber, but who really is you? Well, we don't really know, but people call you the stranger, or the rider, or Bob. Some three-faced dude tells you he won't let you go out, but this bunny man thinks otherwise. He had enough of BDSM, so he lets you out. And with this, let's get to the first point of my list. The combat. Run, dash, melee, shoot, and parry. Sounds simple enough, right? Well, that's cause it really is. Even with the extra options of charge melee, charge, 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 dash, and one more small thing that comes a bit later, it's not a lot. That's what she said. And that's what makes it amazing. Greatness in simplicity. But how could I even talk about combat properly without the enemies? Your BDSM master. GLaDOS from Portal. Old Lucio? Radio! The guy whose son you are gonna murder. I mean, that's just mercy from Overwatch. Where the hell are you, you invisible bit? I swear to God. Coolest dude to walk on earth. Everyone's like, ah, don't kill my son, and why ah, you can't achieve your goal, and wah, 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 wah. And this dude is just standing here like, I just want someone strong to fight. I don't really care about anything else. Like, here's the guy's son murdered. Sif, the great grey wolf from Dark Souls. I'm not gonna explain it now, find it out, I cry myself to sleep. Uh, I hate you, I hate you a lot, I hate you a lot. It doesn't sound like a lot either, and well, it really isn't. There are no small enemies in this game. You go from arena to arena to kill the next boss, and while you do so, you get exposition from Bunnyman. And I honestly think the game is its best self this way, because there is only one enemy to concentrate on. Just like in Souls-like games, I enjoy it way more when there's only one hard enemy, approximately the size of your own character, rather than when there's a big amount of enemies or a huge enemy where you just look like a grain of rice beside it. It's a proper 1v1. It's more personal this way, and it feels more fair. The first boss teaches you everything you will need to know about the game, which I don't wanna go into deeper now. But game devs, I swear to god, don't ruin the replayability with it not being skippable. It's cool. No, 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 no. It's needed for the first time to have a tutorial. But why is there no way to skip it? It's just annoying. Anyway, what you learn here is more or less needed in the rest of the game, varying mostly in the looks of your enemy, the difficulty of your enemy, the fighting style of your enemy, and the arena itself. Ah, finally. I can come to the most exciting part I want to talk about. The butter smooth, beautiful battle between boss and thyself. This artful amalgamation that makes up most of the game, or without the complicated words, the relation between you and your enemy. That's where the game shines. It shines so hard it even blinded me. <clears throat> Allow me. I definitely could have explained it normally, but that wouldn't have brought through the pure adrenaline you get while playing the game. Your reactions have to be fast. You will have to know when to attack and when to go defensive. And some enemies will even greatly punish you if you don't adapt to their strengths and weaknesses. Like best dad of 269 over here, who multiplies your projectiles if you shoot him, and he does that like 90% of the time. Or the coolest dude ever, who you can basically only punish once at very specific times, because if you spam attack him, he either just dodges or parries you back. You will have to attack very carefully. It's fast, clean, crisp, and I personally didn't have the feeling it's unfair in any way, except until you 
Teletubby sun baby looking idiot. Okay, sorry. Actually, what a perfect segue to my next point. The difficulty. Ooh, baby, the game is hard, even on less baby. And I love it with every cell of my body. I'm gonna break my monitor, I swear. The reason being what I already mentioned, it doesn't feel unfair. It's learnable. It will fuck you the first time, and the second time, and the third time too. And you will feel overwhelmed, but you will realize quickly a bit of thinking before acting, and it's all good. It's a thinking man's game. Still, that doesn't change the fact that it's hard. If something makes me rage in all three languages I speak without even realizing, that usually means something. Oh man, denk doch, du Hurensohn. Dollar alte Bunko. I Yes. I am gonna have sex with your anus tonight. Immer, immer, du idiot. Ja, immer. Hier war da noch deine Art. Kutschuk. Ribbons. Kurva. You have never attacked twice before in this attack, you bitch. Nicht instant, aber auch nicht gewartet. Also da gibt es doch Grenzen Spiel. Du wollt du Party, die Party. Ah! Oh ja. I did them not thinking. Oh cool, Wanya, hold on. How? How should I dodge that? I have no fucking idea. Let's go. Nein! Fucking delay. Okay, fuck me. <laughs> We're all in this together. Okay. It's always twice, and I always press twice. Should I just not parry? What do you mean? Game makers, if the fucking think about it. If someone parries, it shouldn't be fucking punished. What do you mean? I always press it twice, and I think the timing is also. Oh, raging made me dizzy. <laughs> I hate these white things. I really hate these white things, and the purple ones too. And I don't know if you realize, but there's a, there are only in purple and white things on the screen. I hate everything. Everything's poopy. Oh, I should shoot. I for complete. I cannot shoot and think about dodging at the same time. I just cannot. I just can't. I forgot that maybe I should shoot, but I cannot shoot and dodge at the same time. <sighs> Why is this song so calm? This is supposed to be such a good soundtrack. Okay. Ooh, okay, that was cool, but surely they can't redo it. Oh god, oh god, it's so fast. It's so good. Okay, you know the saying, fool me twice. And the third one is gonna be also easy, because who decided to set the computer on fire to make this fire of a song for walking? Yes. Oh my god, this song actually makes me care about your soul, oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Yes. Do, 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 do. What I said in the beginning. A game where you come for the music and well, stay because of the music. I meant it with my whole body. Imagine, uh, imagine, uh, imagine, Im imagining. Imagining this game without this bang. I couldn't say imagine. Imagine, imagining? Ima uh, imagining this game. Oh my god, it sounds weird now. I had the thing where you said a word too often and now it sounds weird. Okay. <clears throat> Imagining this game without this banger of a soundtrack, my god, it would not hold up. It's carried by it so hard, it's kinda even unbelievable. Nothing more to say. And now my last point I have, complaining. Kind of a spoiler alert here, because I'm gonna tell a kind of a biggie side story here. So I'm gonna have this banana in the corner as long as the spoiler happens. Consider it a spoiler banana of sorts. So 
I was so close to not being able to complain about anything too big. I killed the last boss, I was baffled by some visual storytelling things, like the last boss seeming all defenseless, like Sif from Dark Souls, hence the tease earlier in the video, and getting down on the planet, seeing that everything gets destroyed in my path, showing that BOMB is sort of a destroyer of worlds. After the credits are done, the story carries on. And I was hanging off the edge of my seat, like how can something even cooler happen? Well, you get a decision. You can either assimilate the planet, or you can destroy the being that forces you to do this. This head. And of course, with everyone criticizing you for murdering everyone in your path, I thought, come on, a big finale. They couldn't have died in vain. I have to do something about it. I imagine the most interesting fight in the game, a fight to test everything you have learned until now, a test of all tests. What I got? A goddamn shooting fest, with enemy attacks that are painfully uncreative and f unfair in my opinion, a monotone song with monotone phases. I feel like they could not have possibly made anything worse with this fight. Even nothing at all would have been better. You can't have your players wanting to avenge everyone they killed and make the last fight this bad. You can't prepare your players to use all the mechanics they have learned and then not make them use it. You can't use the worst mechanic of them all, the shooting, to be the focal point of this fight. The shooting helps the game, but it doesn't work as an alone standing thing. This cannot be, it just makes me genuinely furious. Because now I don't want to do this optional boss ever again, it's genuinely stupid. It's monotone, it's boring, it's a bad kind of hard. What else is there to say? First of all, banana, go away. Second of all, well, <sighs> buy the game. That's what's there to say. It's amazing. It really is. And this thing won't change my mind about it too much. It really doesn't ruin the game, don't worry. It's just the way they fucked up that makes me furious. So, to end this video, my favorite part of every video, Steam Reviews. <laughs>